Hi guys and welcome to my vlog channel. So this is going to be a DIY video. I rarely do them but I thought, you know, I'm a creative person and I never film things that I do so I decided to start filming them and I did promise you guys in my last video that I will be having DIY and cooking videos on this channel. So this is more of like a lifestyle vlog channel. It's not my normal beauty videos but I thought this would be a great way to kind of introduce my creativity to you all. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to revamp an old mirror. My grandmother gave me this mirror. It was actually a like an old um, makeup slash perfume tray that she had in the, her bathroom for like 50 something years. It's ridiculous how old this mirror is. And she was going to trash it. And I was like, don't trash that mirror. Like, I'll take it and I will use it because I thought it was really pretty and it's savable. You can actually save this mirror. So this is the well this is the back of the mirror and it's pretty old and rusty and dirty um I'm going to clean it off and make it like new and then I'm actually going to take the back of it put it back on so this is the actual frame that the mirror itself came in like I don't know if you guys remember but you know how you still sit it like this like on a bathroom counter and just put like everything in it and on top of the mirror well the mirror got old and rusty and if you can see like all the grime and stuff on it which is pretty gross I'm just gonna clean all of that off and then I'm going to to spray paint this mirror let it sit out for a little bit and then put it all back together and I'm going to have a nicely new revamped mirror it's very simple very easy so if you guys want to see how I'm going to redo this mirror please keep watching bye so I'm going to soak this frame in some warm water put a little dish soap and Clorox on to a hard bristle brush and then I'm going to scrub the frame all over and this is just going to help loosen up some of that grime and just get it off you know it's developed over the years this frames about 20 years old so it's not gonna really get rid of it but it is just going to clean it up a little before I apply my you know my spray paint So I purchased the spray paint a while back at uh, Home Depot. It has a metallic silver finish and this is what I'm going to use just to give it, you know, a new fresh look. And I wanted to use silver spray paint. You can use gold, basically whatever color you want, but I thought silver would work best with, you know, the way my room is set up. So we're going to let that dry and then we're going to go in and clean our mirror. So I'm going to use Windex and I'm just going to spray all over the mirror. And then I'm going to wipe it down with a few paper towels. But then also I'm going to go in with a toothbrush and start scrubbing the outer corners of this mirror. Because see the grime has kind of developed and stayed on. So I'm just taking some hot water and kind of getting rid of all of that. And scrubbing the outer perimeter of the mirror and just removing any of that grind. So now that all of that is removed, I went in with Windex one more time and now I'm just taking an old blow dryer and I am blow drying the back of the picture frame and then we're going to flip it over and do the same process on the other side. We're going to spray paint that and then blow dry that as well. I use a blow dryer because it speeds up the process of the frame drying just because I'm very impatient and I wanted it to be a quicker process. The one thing I did realize while spray painting was that I wanted to use two coats just to have like a really clean look and then I also kind of sprayed it from a little bit of a distance, maybe like two inches away from the frame so that it doesn't like gunk up on you and start caking on. You don't want that kind of look either. You want a very clean, simple look. So once your frame is done drying, I left it out for about two hours, maybe three hours after I blow dried it. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to apply the mirror part. So I'm just going to take the mirror and slide it in. And then I'm going to also use the cardboard that was in the mirror originally. And I'm going to pack that on and then just add the mirror stand. And then you're basically done and your mirror is all put together. Thank you. 
again here I'm just applying the back stand and I'm just going to slide that in and I added the extra cardboard just to make it thick so that it would stay so there wouldn't be any looseness going on and that's it the mirror is finished so thanks guys I really appreciate all of your love and support please keep watching for more DIY videos and I'll talk to you guys later bye